Pedro agora. And the bell goes. Fight Clock brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste and only 96 calories. Bellator Lite heavyweight champion Ryan Bader competing for the first time. It's everywhere. He's already dropped the ball with the left hand. Ryan Dark Bader. And Bader beats Tank Malawal in lightning quick fashion. Mamma mia. Morrow, take a look at what occurs here. He comes down both. That left hook just stuns Mo. Puts him back on his heels, comes after him, and look at when, when Bader's on top of you, that, that leg hit him didn't help. You see Mo get in trouble. He starts to go flat. The shots keep coming. And when he's on the ground with Bader on top of trouble, look at that left hand right there. That left hand hit hard. It's almost the same type of reaction that you got as far as Javi Ayala with Czech Congo. That straight shot that just jolts your chin down. Listen to what happens. Here's live speed. Boom! You hear it. You hear the crack. That crack hurts him. He tries to get himself back. He goes out. Boom! Look at what Ryan Bader can do. Yeah, it's one of those sweet spots, you know. I saw him ducking a little bit. I knew he was going to duck his head. I was going to throw a left high kick or a left hand. Left hand caught him. Knew he rocked him right there and then uh, finished him with the right. What about facing Matt Mitrione? You know who your next fight is. Yeah, he's my buddy, but he get, better get his ass in wrestling practice. I'll see you next, buddy. Congratulations, your winner, Ryan Bader. The right-handed Southpaw Mitrione, blue gloves for Ryan Bader, and boom. There's the shot, there's the first takedown. And you're legal on the ground. Mitrione trying to work his way back up. He's gotta be careful not to be taken back down. Right now it's impressive that Matt's yeah, got himself back. Matt was talking about how horrible the camp was. It was this type of grind that he was having to do every day, and now he's doing it in the cage against Bader. He realizes it to lace his opponent like you talked about, John, and keep the control. Yeah, and this is the grind. Matt Mitrione is having to work very hard. He's burning a lot of energy, getting himself back to his feet, and then when he gets back to his feet, if Ryan Bader takes him back down, it was all for naught. This is exactly what Ryan Bader is doing right Big now. shots here. Could he finish it? Right here, right now. Matt, Ryan Bader all over Matt, Matt Mitrione. Mitrione's got to move. Take a look at Ryan Bader's right arm. Look what it's doing with the right hand of Mitrione. It's trapped in there, and he cannot do anything with his right hand. For the light heavyweight champion, Ryan Bader. Bader has never lost a decision. Mitrione comes out swinging. And Matt put himself exactly where he cannot put himself. Up. Don't overextend. And the fastest two-mile run ever. Often has he done that in his life. This is what we're talking about. You just don't learn how to stop the wrestling that he has done. The ability to make it work for you becomes very difficult. Big shots. He's got wrist control holding that arm down. This oh, arm. my. Now he can start to create problems. Does he have it? Matt Does not have it yet, tapped. but he needs to get it up, bring that, bend that arm at the elbow. If he can bend it at the elbow or bring his leg over Matt's head to extend. Now advancing to the finals of the heavyweight world Grand Prix, Ryan Dark Maiden. I'm a fan of the sport. I grew up watching this and a Grand Prix style tournament to fight Fedor for the heavyweight championship of the world. Let's go. Great taste and only 96 calories. Red gloves for the last emperor. Blue gloves for Ryan Darth Bader. Bader trying to get, get rid of a little bit of nervous energy he's got in him. Fedor being the normal stoic guy is going to do a little bit of a a little bit of half hitch, that's his fate. And watch for that right. Oh, it's going to be over. Big shot. And it's all over. Just like that. Ryan Bader knocks out Fedor Emelianenko. Frank Mir called that fight. 
a couple of minutes ago when he said that lead left hook. He saw that as the shot. It could be the difference in this fight, just like it was in the Mo Long fight, and absolutely called it perfect. There's your lead left hook. It hits him. It hurts him. It's over at that point. That right hand wasn't even necessary. Of the heavyweight world Grand Prix, and now the new Bellator heavyweight world champion, Ryan Darmaden. Yeah, the heavyweight belt is something pretty special, obviously. Um, to me, my family, and my career, uh, you know, I came in as a light heavyweight belt holder and was asked to do the heavyweight Grand Prix. And for me, I love that aspect of how I won that belt, right? I went through a Grand Prix. I could kind of map out the process. I saw the predetermined bracket of what I needed to do to get, get there. You know, it all ended with, you know, one of my favorite fighters in Fedor and beating him, you know, in, in front of friends and family. Yeah, this, this belt, like I said, it's not just for me, it's for my family, my team, which are one of the same. It's a reminder every day, you know, sitting there and what I did to get there and what I need to do to keep that to earn a new one. And it's validation that I have the right people around me. This is for, you know, my coaches that put in so much work for me. You know, my wife and family that sacrifice a lot, whether I've gone physically or gone mentally because I'm in a training camp, you know. And so it's in my office. I actually have three of them there, light heavyweight to heavyweight and the Grand Prix belt. And it's just a quick reminder, hey, you got to put in the work to keep these. you got to put in the work to get more of these. Let's go.